Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the Holy Smokes Barbecue Channel. It is a beautifully crisp fall morning here. We are now into November, which means we are in the thick of fall. And today I've got a very, very special video for you because not only are, are we gonna be doing like one really great fall recipe, but we're gonna be doing two. That's right, count them, one, two, two. And we're gonna be cooking them at pretty much the same time. So we're gonna do a smoked herb crusted pork tenderloin and get this, first time ever on the channel, a smoked pumpkin pie. That's right, this is gonna be all about fall, y'all. So let's get started. All right, everybody, we're gonna to start today, we can start a number of different places, but we're going to start with our pumpkin pie filling. We're gonna go ahead and do that, get it in the shell, and then get that on the smoker, because it's gonna take about an hour or so. Uh, the pork loin might take a little bit uh, less than that. So here is a very, very easy, tried and true pumpkin pie filling recipe. We're gonna start with a 15 ounce can of pure pumpkin. So this is not the pumpkin uh, pie mix, this is just pumpkin. We're gonna do the whole mix thing ourselves. And just like that, add that to a mixing bowl. Next, we're gonna add some pumpkin spice extract. Now you could use the actual uh, seasoning version of this. If you're gonna do that, about one and a half uh, teaspoons. We're gonna be using this, so we're actually gonna go about one and a half tablespoons. It's just how the math works out. Like that. To that, about a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. And then finally, two whole beaten eggs. And those go in like so. And now just using our wooden spoon, we're gonna mix all that together so that it's nicely combined. I'll tell you what, it's smelling great already. It's gonna thicken up a little bit as you mix it, so don't worry if it seems like it's a little runny right now. And that looks pretty combined to me. Next, our uncooked pie crust. You can make your own, obviously, not doing that today in the interest of time. You just wanna make sure you get one that is not cooked. So this one just happens to already be in a foil pan. So just right into our pie crust goes that mixture. And just look how perfect that quantity is. Now, just like that, on this uh, small sheet, uh, this is gonna go into a 325 degree smoker with apple wood uh, pellets. And this is gonna take about 50 minutes to an hour. We will know that it's done when we put a, like a butter knife in the middle and it comes out clean. So let's go into the smoker with this and get ready for our pork tenderloin. All right, with the pumpkin pie in the smoker, it's time to put together this nice herb crust mixture for our pork tenderloin. In a small food processor, I'm going to add about the equivalent of two tablespoons of rosemary, and this is fresh rosemary. You could just chop all this stuff manually, but I just like to use the food processor because it, well, saves time. Now remember, your measurements when it comes to fresh herbs are a little different than dried. So usually about a sprig of rosemary is going to end up as one teaspoon. Next, I'm gonna add about three sprigs of fresh thyme. Oh, I love the smell of fresh thyme. And we grow this right here in our garden at home. Just making sure to get those leaves off the sprig. So that, just some kind of smashed garlic. We're doing about four cloves of that. You could mince this yourself, but I'm just gonna let the food processor do the work for me. Then we'll add about a tablespoon of olive oil and the juice of half of a lemon. Just being careful to avoid those seeds. These liquid components that are in there are both for flavor and to help this uh, rub stick to the pork. And we'll just gently mix this together. Go this side. And then, once you've got this nice consistency, it kind of looks like this. Now we're ready for the pork. All right, here is our pork tenderloin. You'll notice that this is much smaller than say a pork loin, which is gonna be uh, very large because a full pork loin actually spans almost the entire body of the animal. Now I'm gonna take off this uh, kind of tail of it here. You see how this is, uh, it's a little bit, um, I guess thinner than the rest of this and I want the, the piece of meat to be kind of uniform as much as possible uh, because this is gonna cook faster and I don't want it to burn. So I'm just gonna come about right here with my super sharp knife and just take that off. Now additionally, 
I do want to remove a good bit of this fat that's on there, any silver skin, because that's not gonna render like it would on say a pork butt, because we're not cooking this super long. So I'm gonna go in and just kind of gently take off some of this fat that's there, and make sure I get that silver skin as much as possible. See, this is gonna cook a lot better than this. All right, there we go. And there's our nicely cleaned, uh, trimmed pork tenderloin. And now before we apply that herb uh, mixture, I'm first going to hit this with a little bit of barbecue seasoning. Now you can use your favorite barbecue seasoning. Uh, I recommend something that's sugar-based so that you get a little bit of caramelization on there, but not too much because we really want these herbs to do the, the talking here. In my mind, the perfect rub for this is the Holy Smokes Signature barbecue rub. That's right, not gonna go too heavy with this, but again, just enough to make a difference. Just like that. This uh, rub is uh, turbinado sugar based, so it's got those nice big sugar crystals in it. There's also some other deliciousness in there, as you can see. All right, that's all we're gonna do. And then now, you guessed it, comes that beautiful garlicky herb Herbalicious <laughs> rub. And use about half of it on this side here. And just press that in. Now we'll flip it. Oh man, this herb mixture just smells out of this world. I mean, it's garlic oil and herbs. Like, can you go wrong? I don't think you can. And press that, rub that on. Now I'm going to sort of bunch this up a little bit. That helps it cook a little bit better. If you had butcher's twine, you could tie it as well. Uh, typically I do that if I'm doing like a whole pork loin, you know, one that's, that's much bigger than this, but uh, this isn't gonna cook for a ton of time. So not, ne not really necessary on this one. All right, let's talk about smoking this. So today I'm smoking the pumpkin pie and this pork tenderloin on my Pit Boss Savannah Onyx Edition. Now, I, I know there's, there's one person out there right now they left me a comment last week that said, essentially, I've abandoned the Lockhart owners. This is the, the Pit Boss Lockhart here right next to me. Trust me, I have not. The Lockhart just needs a little bit of extra TLC these days because I haven't used it in a while. Um, and it's just because the Savannah has become my go-to. So I promise you, coming up in the next couple weeks, we're gonna get the, uh, the, the Lockhart, the TLC that it needs, bring it back, and show you some more videos using that. But for today, we are sticking with the Pit Boss Savannah Onyx Edition. It's got a ton of interior cooking space, and it has become my go-to for just about everything that I've done here recently on the channel. But fear not, Lockhart users, I'm coming for you soon. Now today we are smoking at a little bit of a higher temperature, actually 325 degrees Fahrenheit, which is because A, we're doing the uh, the pie at the same time, and the pie needs that, that higher temperature to actually set and cook fully, and plus you can't really go wrong with that sort of temperature with pork. So about 20 to 25 minutes per pound on a tenderloin, because there's just not a lot of fat, we took a lot of it off. So at that time and that temperature, uh, this particular pork loin is probably gonna take about 40 to 45 minutes to come to an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's the perfect point for where I want it. So if I played my cards right and I did the mental math right, and I filmed the video correctly, we're gonna have the pumpkin pie done at the same time as the tenderloin. For now, it's time to get this pork tenderloin into the smoker, and we'll actually check in and see how our pie is doing. All right, let's see how we're doing. All right, beautiful. You see, I actually put some foil here underneath this side because uh, my smoker, because of just, I guess, the, the ground being not perfectly level, um, it was starting to kind of overflow one side, so I put this here to kind of level it out, uh, so that's why that's there. And now, right below that, right over my heat source, is my pork tenderloin. As you can see, it just looks beautiful. That's gonna go there, and that's pretty much it. So uh, we're gonna give this thing now about 40 minutes or so. We'll come back out, take a look. Hopefully, they'll be done at the same time, but, you know, we'll see. So, see you soon. All right, I was so close. I was like 10 minutes off. The pork was done just about 10 minutes before the pie, but here they both are. Check that out. Ooh, the smell out here is something special. All right, let's give both of these things a little bit of time to rest and cool, and then I'll be back to try them. All right, after ample time to cool, 
Look at that. Wow. Whoo wee. Man, does that look good. That pork tenderloin looks incredible. The pumpkin pie just looks, I mean, it looks like the, one of the best pumpkin pies that's ever been made. All right, so let's start by cutting into this delicious looking pork loin, tenderloin. Let's see how we did. Oh man, look at that. See the juice, see it glistening? Oh, my mouth is watering. God, that looks so good. This is really, really good on like a sandwich. Oh yeah, man, that's gonna be delicious. All right, the time is upon us. It's time to try, oh yeah, I'm in a new location just because of the sunlight. Uh, time to try this pork tenderloin. I cannot wait, it looks so tender. It smells incredible, here we go. Mm. Oh wow, so juicy. What an incredible flavor profile from those herbs. Holy smokes, that is a perfect tender one. Mm. Now I have to let you in on a little secret, and that is that, believe it or not, I do not like pumpkin pie. I, I just don't like it, uh, never have. I've had it a few different ways, a few different times. Never really liked pumpkin pie. However, fortunately, I do have someone today, very, very special guest here on this video, who loves pumpkin pie, and that is Mrs. Holy Smokes. She loves pumpkin pie, so she's gonna try it for us today. All right, here we go. Smoked pumpkin pie. Here we go. Come on. Oh. Is it good? Holy smokes. <laughs> she I'm understood have the assignment. Bite. That's probably one of the best pumpkin pies I've ever eaten. There it is. Well, hey, this obviously is a perfect pairing for your fall gathering, and you'd see it didn't take very long at all. All of this together, cook time was under an hour. So make sure that you try this this fall. You won't be sorry. And thank you once again for tuning into the Holy Smokes Barbecue channel. If you like this video, please do us a favor, click that thumbs up, click the subscribe button, turn on the notifications by clicking the bell, do all the things. That's gonna make sure that not only you get to see more delicious outdoor cooking content as soon as it's released, but also a lot of other people will get to as well. And if you like this video, make sure that you check out one of these other two fall kind of style related videos. Uh, guaranteed to be a hit this fall for you and your house. And I'll see you next time. Hey. <laughs>